Hello, I'm Andy, and welcome back to Pentor Cars Cornish Car Collectors and another in our series on commuting to work in a modern classic. Now, I feel a little bit of a fraud today because I say commuting to work in a modern classic and I'm not sure the car that we're driving today actually qualifies as a modern classic just yet. It's certainly going to be a modern classic of the future, but as of today in 2021 when we are making this drive to work is it a modern classic i leave that up to you after all what makes a car a modern classic is it how old the car is how rare it is we're certainly going to see a couple of these on the road today as we drive to work in fact we've already seen one in the few miles that we've already covered but if i make it big on youtube and if you're watching this video let's say in around 2026 well then this is a modern classic car. So thanks for joining me on this commute to work. What is today's car? Well, it's a fantastic Mark II Ford Focus ST3. What a brilliant car. So if you've watched the channel before and you watched this series before, then you'll know that my commute to work is from Cornwall to Exeter, which is around 49 miles if I come across the short ferry link there in Tor Point, or around 66 miles if I drive over the Tamar Bridge. And today, we came across the bridge. There's a bit of resurfacing work happening currently on the bridge, so a little bit of a delay, but not too bad. We're driving to work a little later today than usual. Uh, so got across there okay. So it's 66 miles. Uh, in store for this ST3. As always, during this, uh, this video, we'll cover off some key elements to a modern classic commuter car. First of all, how practical is it? What's the fuel economy like, the miles per gallon? I'm guessing it's not gonna be great in this 2.5 liter, five cylinder ST3, but we'll find out. Also, how reliable is this car? Uh, how well does it perform? What's the tech like to keep the commuter entertained, particularly the stereo? We'll also look at where can we put our commuter coffee, all very important stuff, and what does this car say about you when you get to the office, to your office colleagues? So join us as we go through all of that. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to the channel do click like and leave us a comment below. We'd love to hear from you particularly about what else you want to see in these modern classic commutes to work. So we've done about 12 miles so far. I'm going to put a few miles, a uh, few more miles under our belt and then I'll report back on some of those important things. Stay tuned. Thanks. So let's talk about practicality and reliability. And first of all, it's fuel economy, miles per gallon. And for those of you who are familiar with these cars, and as I said earlier, this has the fantastic 2.5 litre, five cylinder engine producing 225 horsepower. So we should expect it really not to be the best on, uh, on a 60 odd mile commute. Having said that, it does have a sixth speed, which really will help and we spent most of the drive in sixth gear and really quite an uninhibited drive so far. So, we've done about 25 miles and the computer, I reset all of the computers before we, uh, we set off. The computer is telling me we've averaged 48 miles per hour on the drive on the way here so far. And it's telling me that we have done, wow. 36.7 miles per gallon. I'm not sure that's accurate. That might be a bit of a fib from the Focus. I don't know. For those of you who own these cars and uh, who regularly make decent drives in them, please do leave me a comment below and let me know if that's around what you're seeing on, uh, on your Focus. But if that is indeed the case, well, that's pretty good. Um, I'm impressed. And most importantly, when I get to work, and uh, I'm sure we've all got one, an annoying colleague who drives a BMW diesel who's all the time talking about performance and their stupid fuel economy and really looks down their nose at the Ford Focus ST driver with a big petrol engine. Well, 
I can tell him we're doing 36.7 miles per gallon. That'll shut him up. So what about reliability? Well, it's a very well-maintained car, this particular Focus. Just clocked over 100,000 miles. Uh, had lots of maintenance done on the engine uh, and the car itself. And bearing in mind it's only about 14 years old, it should be a very reliable car to, to drive to work. And certainly has proven so in our ownership so far. So, so far for the Focus, it's thumbs up. What about comfort? How comfortable is our Ford Focus ST? Well, the first thing to say, this is an ST3, top of the range. And that means you get these lovely leather Recaro seats that don't just look brilliant, and they really do, but also they, they feel great. Such a comfortable car to ride in. Now, being six foot four, I would say I feel that I'm sat quite high in the car. I think the leather seats do raise you up a little bit when compared to the cloth interior and the ST2 and the ST1, but don't let that put you off. They are really comfortable and it's still a nice driving position, particularly holding on to this nice leather three-point steering wheel embossed with the ST logo. One interesting fact about an ST3, in the back of the car, you've got the lovely Recaro leather interior, but only two seats and not three. In the ST3, you do lose the center seat. So as for comfort, it's a very nice place to cover lots of miles. On to tech, and as I've already said, this is an ST3, the very top of the range. So in the Ford hot hatch world, this car is stacked with technology. And technology is really important to a commuter, keeps us entertained on these long, monotonous drives. So what's this car got? Well, I've already talked about the lovely Recaro leather interior, but I haven't mentioned the fact that it is actually heated interior. Oh, looks like we're coming up on a bit of traffic. Let's slow down a minute here before we carry on about tech. So, as I say, we've got the heated front seats, which is a nice option, but not really on a day like today. To be honest, the weather can't make its mind up today. One minute, it's raining the next minute it's actually really quite warm and quite muggy as it is now but not to worry in your st3 because this car has full air conditioning and for a 14 year old car i've got to say it blows really nice and cold still also on the focus you've got the option to disengage the traction control the esp electronic stability program not that you'd really want to do that on a commute and this car doesn't just have a heated rear screen, but like Fords of this generation and many Fords that have gone before and after, it has the heated front screen, which is a really good option and one that's brilliant on cold start mornings as the screen is clear within a few seconds of hitting that button. So what else has our ST3 got? Well, um, Tech-wise, I'm not sure we could count it as tech, but we can say it's really quite entertaining to watch, and that's this binnacle, which has got three additional gauges on. You've got your oil temperature, you've got your oil pressure, and you've got your turbo gauge, which is very exciting, particularly now as we start to come out of the traffic and uh, open up the taps a little bit on this lovely 2.5 litre five-cylinder engine. Moving on from the instrument binnacle, obviously front electric windows, no rear electric windows in this car, it's a three door. Uh, we've got electric mirrors uh, and we've got steering wheel mounted stereo controls, which leads me on to the stereo. Now, usually at this point, I'd switch the stereo on and we talk about the stereo itself. I'm not gonna switch it on today because I don't have the code for it. I've gotta pull the stereo out, get the serial number, send the serial number off on one of those websites and they'll send me the code. So I'll sort that out and we'll cut about now to me in the future, switching the stereo on and showing you that it works. Okay, this is a six disc Sony CD player, which is the stereo that comes with the ST3. Again, a very nice option in these cars. So tech wise, yeah, really good. So what about the commuter coffee? 
Well, this is a more modern car. And I'm not sure millennials and the like actually bring coffee from home. They probably buy it from one of those flash coffee shops, but they do drink water. So I thought I'd bring this fairly standard size bottle of water with me today and uh, use the cup holder that comes with the Focus, which weirdly is underneath the armrest. You've got to surrender some comfort to be able to store your drink. So here it goes. Ah. Seems to me that the cup holder isn't big enough for a bottle of water. I'm sure it will hold a coffee cup. Here you go. Yeah, I thought so. So we can store a coffee, which is important, but not a bottle of water. As for our commuter snacks, well, a nice big door pocket here for us to put some sweets. So it's pretty good. It's time for the one that I've been looking forward to in this car the performance test and as you know if you've seen this before we do this as we climb Holden Hill just to the southwest of Exeter we go in at the bottom at 70 miles an hour we keep it in top gear and we see how we're doing at the top hopefully we don't hit any slow moving traffic in front and to be honest we already are we've got a lorry with about five cars behind it and we just had a Ford Fiesta pull out in front of us with one brake light so we're already changing down. What a shame. I can say though, this car performs brilliantly. You all know that already. It's a Focus ST, it's a five cylinder, it's a turbocharged car, it's 225 horsepower. It's brilliant fun to drive and we're doing 50 miles an hour. And that's not because of the car, that's because of the traffic. Performance wise though, great fun. You're never gonna get bored commuting to work in this, I tell you that. So we've done 63 miles in our Ford Focus ST3. It's time to sum up. We're only a couple of miles now away from work. And if you've tuned in the channel before, you'll know what I'm gonna think about this car. We love hot Fords, and this has been a really enjoyable drive to work. Can't wait to drive it home again. The car's been comfortable, it's been quiet, far quieter than our Ford Focus RS, which I still prefer, but on drives like today, well, this knocks spots off it. Uh, so really comfortable, uh, really quiet, really easy to drive. We spent the vast majority of the journey in sixth gear. The car is effortless. There's always enough power uh, to, to accelerate away from slow moving traffic or overtake something. Um, it's been brilliant. And I mean, what we've we done now, 63.9 miles, just to check. Average fuel economy, 35.2 miles per gallon. If that's right, that makes this a very sensible commuter car um, each day. In fact, I should probably chop in the Rover 75 diesel and use this every day. Really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Please do leave us your views in the comments below. Uh, do click like if you like what you've seen and do subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more cars to drive to work as well as feature in our review videos. Thanks so much for watching. It's time for me now to go and do a day's work but uh, I hope to see you again soon here at Pentel Cars Cornish Car Collectors bye for now bye bye